is concerning the kingdom of God and they killed him for it. You see, this world don't want you to have another mind, but the mind of its own. And so there's a war between two kingdoms. And so if you keep raising up these Christians, God does, and they keep preaching this kingdom, pretty soon nobody's going to obey authority in the world. Because there's going to be a conflict. That's the reason why people die, brothers and sisters, because of the kingdom. You better get ready to find out which kingdom you in. We talked about that this morning too, didn't we? Hmm? Mercy. So I want you to see um, that the enemy can do anything to pull you away from the fellowship of believers. He'll do it. And Henry Groover, along with myself, we liken it to backsliding Israel. Hmm? You know, I had um, one of my, now I call him um, a Nimbus of the Cross, uh, Harris, Stanley Harris. Hmm. Um, as soon as I got back from North Carolina, I cut him off from all fellowship. Because the type of spirit that they was coming in. And of course, Deacon Gasson told me, man, I, he should have did that five years ago. But my heart's a little long, a little more long suffering than other people are. You know what I mean? And he would, he was telling me that the reason why that I pulled away, listen to the word, the reason why I pulled away from Brother Stair was because I saw an opportunity to get out, so I ran. And I said, Brother, what kind of spirit are you of? I said, is that what's in you? That's why I told him. I said, first of all, you don't even know what transpired in the meeting. You don't even know what took place. You don't know what's been said between me and him. You don't know what he said and what I've said. And the only thing you will know is what I tell you. If I tell you. But with that kind of spirit, why should I tell you anything? I said, I'm not like you, brother. And that's why I keep telling you, a lot of times what we do is we, we put judgments on others because of what we have in our own self. And we think that everybody else is that way. And, we, and then that, I'm telling you, it's an amazing thing. Now, you know just as well as I do, he repent, no problem. But you can see he hadn't been he hadn't been with us, so he's still ain't with us. It makes no difference anyway to me at all. Still gotta go on serving God. Amen. I'm amazed at all the people that rise up against me that I'm so wrong. Hmm? And God condemns every one of them. Every single one without fail. I'm amazed. I am utterly amazed. I really am. So you gotta understand that we have to make a stand for righteousness. Amen. And a lot of people can't stay around to stand. Amen. Amen. I'll do right. Amen. Yeah, I will. Amen. If I'm wrong, I'll do right. Amen. If I'm right, I'll do right. Amen. You know why? Because he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Amen. 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 I will do right. I promise I will. Why would I do right? Because I love him. Amen. Amen. Now, whatever I do may right. That's how many times have you thought that I haven't did anything right or something right, especially when I had to deal with you? Amen. Come later on. Now, guess who have to bear the brunt of that ignorance? Guess who had to put up with that? That's called long suffering. 
And I expect that, you know, just like I thought everybody understood what I was speaking about last week. I know everybody don't understand. But usually when you're, don't you believe that whenever you're trying to explain something to somebody that everybody automatically understands, you just assume everybody understands. Because you understand. Don't you do that? And it don't marvel, you, it, you don't marvel because you understand that you don't see how somebody can't understand? Oh, come on, brother. You know that's the truth. I marvel at it. I do. But the truth is, is that we're all just a little bit different. Some get some a little quicker, some get a little more. And that's why if you don't get some, that's why you need to keep plowing. Just don't let it go by. You need to keep plowing to get understanding. Don't be in the dark. And don't allow yourself to be in the dark. Get understanding. With all thy getting, get understanding. Especially if you don't understand. Don't let it go by. Don't you love your soul? You know that there's more important than anything, and we know about the blood of Jesus and all that, is to understand him. Is that right? To receive his knowledge. Yes. So we won't be destroyed. Yes. But people are forsaken the assembly all across the land everywhere. Yes. I mean, what really what really prompted in my spirit when I was start talking about um, the missionary about this church is, I mean, there's a hundred something in this county. And it, it makes your heart fall out just thinking about it. And you can see what's going on. Anybody got any sense? Every each one of them got their name on it. And what happened was is that this man disagreed with this man and, and then there was a some some voices went around behind the scene working insurrection and stuff and then when they finally made a split, the half went this way and half went that way. And then when they disagreed and half went this way, half went that way, tell them none of them, the church is a fool. Now who does that? But ain't nobody telling you it's the devil. So who's doing it if there's things like that happening in our very midst? The devil. The same Satan that's working on them, same Satan that's working on us. He ain't no respect of persons either. The only thing I can see is that, that God is granting us grace and mercy because of our ignorance, because we're submitting ourselves to him. See, when you backslide, you don't believe you're backsliding. Did you hear what the man said? You don't even think about it. You, every time you backslide, you do more justifying of yourself. Well, how do you know you stop backsliding? Well, when you turn from your wicked way and you start walking right. That's how you know when you stop backsliding. When you backslide, you're trying to convince God that you're right. Not, not people. People don't even matter. You even say that your own self. People don't matter, only ain't that right? And so the actual transgression is between you and God. He didn't say you transgress against my people. You transgress against me. And that's what people need to get it at. You see, as long as you can transgress against each other, you can cut a fool and act like that all the time. Who in the world worrying about what God think? And the more we keep on transgressing each other, man, you ain't no big deal. We can keep on doing it. And that spirit, boy, if it keeps coming, boy, you see what I mean? And pretty soon, then you don't know that every time you do it, you do it against God. It's just that that spirit has you looking at people. It's a long suffering to deal with each other. Hmm? Now here's the same people say they're going to one kingdom and they all in, in their own little nation. You God ain't that foolish. I even wrote that in the newsletter too. Oh, you think God's that foolish, brothers and sisters? No, he ain't either. God is not that foolish. He's not. And so if you go over in the book of Acts, you'll find out how the people should be fellowshipping. Read that, believe it. We live around here and and, and, and all, you see it all the time. People just fellowship with who they love, who they receive. It's sad. It's so sad. It is so sad. So sad. It's so car same thing. Ain't no different than going here than going out there. It's just so sad. 